Kia whanau. Um, this is my first monthly wrap up on YouTube. Uh, it was one of my goals for um, for March and moving forward. So this is it. Uh, it's been a while. Um, far out, like feeling a little bit nervous actually again, which sucks. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's get to the what's been happening over this past uh, month and the things that I've learned. Um, yeah. So let's go. Um, first off, can't go without talking about Christchurch. It's something that we just never ever thought would happen in our own country. Um, over 50 Muslim people died. They were murdered at um, two mosques in Christchurch from um, from one dude, white supremacist, um, terrorist, call it what you want to call it. Um, yeah, I was just something that we'd never thought would happen in our country it's like like it's, it happened a couple of weeks ago and it's still like like for the past two weeks I haven't posted anything uh, really and it's part of it has been because of that like I, I don't know what to say uh, I don't know sort of what to post um, so yeah, it's it's been a real sort of sad time for our country and um, after having some good conversations with my brother Raniera, plant-based Māori, um, we were talking about it and how, um, you know, everyone has had their say and, you know, there have been a lot of positive things coming from it, like the uniting of our people, and there have been some sad things as well, like the dividing of our people and, um, yeah, there's, like, I genuinely sort of don't really know how to talk about these sort of things. Um, sending, I, I did a live video about it, um, yeah, two weeks ago. It was the Monday following um, the attacks, and it was probably the hardest video I've ever had to make, because I, I never make videos like that. Usually I just, you know, I, I don't sort of think that my opinion on those types of things is sort of matters because that's not really my sort of thing to speak on like I shared a few a couple of things in my support and that was sort of how I showed support and and then yeah anyway through talking with my bro Ranira um, sort of just realized that where I think that I can add the most value is by doing the things that I do and sharing um, sort of my journey and hopefully trying to inspire the best way that I can in order for people to live live their live life on their own terms and I know there are a lot of other people who who can speak on those sort of you know things like what happened in Christchurch and I see it all the time like some of them are my good friends and like they're way better at it than me so I, I leave those sorts of things to people who are um yeah better at it than me i suppose better at articulating um messages better than i am in in those types of contexts so um yeah um sad sad day for aotearoa and for the muslim community um uh we stand with you fellas and we hope that from here on out um, we can stay united like all of us as a people in Aotearoa not just for five minutes and then forget whatever happened um, yeah so that was that um, I thought I'd just get the big the big thing out of the way first which was Christchurch and um, yeah anyway so moving on to the other stuff that I learnt so a uh, few of the things that I wanted to undertake for this month one of them was waking up at 4am um, it was it was hard like for the first first couple of weeks it was alright second week it was real easy because I was really really into it um, third and fourth week were hard partly because I was staying up late um, come to the conclusion that um, Sort of organizing my time 
is crucial if I want to wake up at 4 a.m. because I can't stay up late like till midnight and expect to do that every day. There's some people who can, like they'll, they'll be a way for me to do it, but um, just for me personally, where I'm at at the moment, I don't feel like I can function that well on four hours of sleep for a week, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I had to be more disciplined with time management throughout the day in order to be able to get to bed and get to sleep on time because it takes me ages to get to sleep. So that was that 4 a.m. I'm going to try and keep that up for this month. Um, what else did I learn? I learned, uh, I listened to a lot of podcasts this month. Ice, uh, Isaac John, who I've already spoke about in my vlog, which was the one that I uploaded a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he's the creative director at um, YKTR, pretty much the dude who runs YKTR clothing brand over in Australia. Kiwi fella, brought up in Tokoroa, super, super inspiring and just insane hustle, insane mahi ethic. Um, and he's a fella that I definitely look up to. And I was introduced to him, not personally, but um, to his page by my brother Daniel again. Another dude, uh, Andy Frisella, discovered the 75 hard challenge, which I'll be undertaking. I started it, ended up falling off the waka because I went to Wellington and um, it was this big sort of trip and we had to drive down and um, it was for like some co but there's this like real good vegan place down there. I was like, ah, stuff it, I'm, I'm gonna eat there. Like I know that's sort of part of it to be disciplined, but it was one thing that I was willing to sort of sacrifice and restart the 75 hard challenge again. So I'm restarting that again tomorrow. Um, also, I learned Powerlist from him. Powerlist are uh, a set of um, tasks, critical tasks throughout the day. Things that ain't easy, but things that ain't impossible, and things that if you achieve them throughout your day, they're gonna move you forward. And the whole idea of this is to make sure you get important tasks done. It's not about being busy, but it's about being productive and being productive in the best way possible for whatever your personal business or personal journey is. Uh, yeah, so powerless, that was another big learning. Um, also learned, not learned, but I was. this was also the first month that I started to take weekends off uh, with my darling. It's been mean as, it's been real, real good. And no mahi in the weekend, so um, no messaging, no nothing from Saturday to Sunday and to just spend that time either relaxing with my partner, um, by myself, with friends or whatever um, and just, just take time away from mahi. Um, so yeah, it's about a balance and that's something that I haven't really been good at in the past. I've always sort of just, like when I get into a mahi and I'm into it, like I'll, I'll go seven days a week just because I'm into it and I enjoy it. But I realised that um, with a partner, it's, you know, you can't do that all the time. Um, unless they, they're they sweet with it, but like, I want to sort of, you know, try to be a better partner as well. And uh, yeah, it's been really good. Uh, the next thing, what else has happened? Um, those are sort of the main things I've been reading. Oh, and I'll just talk about the 75 hard challenge. Um, you have to do five things, you have to drink uh, a gallon of water a day, which is just under four litres of water. You have to eat clean, you have to eat, oh not eat, you have to eat clean, exercise twice a day for 45 minutes each, and one of those has to be outside no matter what, whether it's raining like it is right now, or storming, or snowing, whatever. Um, the fourth one is you have to read at least 10 pages of some sort of self-help, self-development, entrepreneurial book uh, and the last one is to take a progress photo of yourself every day for 75 days straight and if you break it you have to restart so because I broke it like I was saying I have to restart it um, yeah so that's 75 hard challenge super super motivational um, and the whole purpose behind this challenge is to sort of gain discipline and to become the person that you want to become because I a person who can achieve and maintain that sort of discipline throughout 75 days like for some people it won't be that hard but for the average person it would be um, if you can maintain that for 75 days you're not gonna be the same person pretty much you're gonna have more confidence um, you're gonna have 
more energy you'll be in my instance be more creative um yeah so that's the whole reason i want to do the 75 challenge or 75 hard challenge also um what else oh yeah i think that's about it for the month um i was less productive than i was productive i had one the second week of this month was the busiest week i've ever had in my life which was cool and i was just like an insane or just an insane um wave of energy um which i'm keen to get back onto um starting with this uh also yeah yeah so that was pretty much this month march uh today is the first of april so it's the start to another month um my brother ranira and i had a a bit of a debrief about this month and we had that on oh, a week ago wednesday or tuesday and we were just talking about what sort of things went well um what sort of things we could do coming into this new month into april and one of those things was um it just came from conversation but it was about the fact that um when you ask questions do you find yourself like when you ask people questions you answer them yourself before they've even answered it so it was about that sort of thing and about the fact that all the knowledge that we've learned in our life um you know most of it or at least some of it is in there somewhere so if you ask yourself the right questions and if you ask yourself deep enough hard enough long enough you'll come up with the answers yourself and um i, I know with myself personally i use the fact that i don't know something or i think i don't know something as an excuse to go look elsewhere and the whole pretty much in a nutshell what we got from it was to for this month was to stop listening to podcasts stop watching video interviews you know that are podcasts and those types of things things that are going to be you know filling us up with knowledge and instead of doing that to ask ourselves the questions that we would be looking for answers elsewhere so it's not a so this month is not about looking externally but it's about looking internally and like we were like on an insane wave when we were having this little whining with ourselves and um a crazy thing like uh, i don't care or i don't know what you fellas believe in whether you believe in god allah um jah you know buddha whatever um each to their own you know the universe but like when we came up like when we thought when we realized um you know that we can look internally for answers it got me thinking about this quote and i'll leave it here i'll leave it here this quote from bill nye so i'm a huge believer in the universe and because of this um we ah uh, this is uh what do you call it uh and this is not quote word for word this is uh pretty much what he meant oh you know what i what i remember um we humans are evidence that the universe is aware of itself as we are products of the universe and and thinking about that realized you know when you ask the universe things um and then you you eventually receive them if you i don't know if you believe in energy and all those types of things but if your energy aligns and what not and if you ask you shall receive and then came to the conclusion that like you're part of the universe so you're kind of asking yourself so you have the answers as well if you're willing to just listen to yourself which i think is the basis of meditation in my opinion or one one aspect of meditation anyway and it was pretty profound discovery so yeah this month is about that about going internally instead of looking externally so hope you fellas enjoyed this one one little last one i just realized now um you know you like in gaining knowledge to filling up your cup and what we realize is that maybe our cup has been overflowing from the amount of knowledge and maybe it's time to start sipping from that cup of knowledge so let's go cool. see you fellas in a month check on it